Welcome back today, I will show you how to input code to unlock Surun LightBX L1E by squeezing front or rear brakes, starting with deactivating speed limiter. Turn the key on, press briefly brake to get ready on dash. Then long press two times brake, about two seconds each, and six short presses. If successful, you will get C0 on display. And yeah, enjoy about 80 km per hour speeds. Massive thanks to PCBWay.com for making these videos possible. They have 11th anniversary sales, so make sure to check them out. And perhaps finally finish your project for cheaper. They have best prices and customer support in industry. Plus, you can get 5 bucks if you use my link in description below. Once again, pcbway.com, back to the video. Next is burnout function on. Turn the key, super short squeeze to get ready on dash, then 8 short and 1 long presses. Display should show P0. This will allow you to hold brake while motor will still function. If you want to be safe, turn it off by 9 short presses following by 1 long press. On display will be P1. This safety will protect your motor and your softballs. Each code input requires power cycle. Next important thing is tilt switch and kickstand deactivation. Must do for wheelies. So super short squeeze, 6 short and 1 long presses. Display will show C1. These C settings are not stored so each power cycle you have to input them again. Well the tilt switch will actually stay stored for a little longer but not forever. I'll be doing permanent solution for these settings so stay tuned. Next regen off. 1 super short, 7 short and 1 long presses. Display will show E0. Again, this is best for wheelies or racing. Region settings are stored. Next region option is low. One super short, two short and one long. Display will show E1. Then we have region medium. One super short, three short and one long. Display should show E2. And last region option is high. One super short, four short and one long presses. Display will show E3. Well, I prefer region off completely anyway. Another useful thing is ability to change speed ratios when you change sprockets. I have this 54 tooth sprocket so had the correct speedo by pressing and holding right dash button prior to turning key on and ratio symbol is flashing. Now with two buttons you can adjust the ratio. My should be on 1.2 ish and stored by a long press of the right button. Just like so. Dash will restart and shows new 1.2 ratio. Boom. I'll be doing more testing on this matter. Bonus settings for me is changing miles versus kilometers by holding left dash button prior to turning key on. Thanks for watching and see you next time.